To set up a new project in Landstar 8, first open the application. If you're using the application on an LT700H or an LT800H, then the software will automatically connect to the receiver and will automatically connect to the RTK network. If you're using an external device, you will need to um, set that up within the system or within the software, uh, which will be in a different video. First thing we need to do is click on projects in the top left hand corner and then we need to select new. As you can see here we've got no previous projects so when we select new we will go in and put in a job uh, a project name and an operator's name. We have no previous reference project um, so we can we have to click on coordinate system select user defined and then click next we it, that will automatically come up with wgs84 and if we then select projection we can just ask the system to automatically select the central meridian for us and then we can click ok um, further down you'll see project settings and this is how we want all of our project settings to be in the future so we can select that um, and it will give us a lot of different options and this might change over time uh, so the only one I'm going to look at today is GNSS so we can click on that and that will give us how the system will record data so we have horizontal tolerance and vertical tolerance so the system will not record data if the tolerances are outside of that um, and that's the same with the rest under accuracy check and then we have store and this is how we will also in store uh, the data as well so if we record a point um, and we don't make any changes our first point will be called number one and from then on it will incrementally go up by one so second point will be number two and so on our measurements are set to five seconds so this means that every time you try and record a point it will average over five seconds we can if we're trying to do a quicker survey change this to one and then um, all you need to do is hit the back button at the top and that will be saved um, and then there is just some warnings and some confirm before saving and that kind of thing. And that all depends on your individual requirements as you set these things out. We can then click the back button and then save those changes as default and click OK. And now all future projects will use those settings as well. You can change them on a project by project basis as well. So we then click OK and our project is set up and ready to go.